How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about three of the best free VPNs for Windows 11. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of the VPNs mentioned today, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. So most free VPNs are lacking when it comes to speed, security, or features for that matter, though fortunately, there are three very good options for you if you're interested. Uh, so, you know, Windows has always been vulnerable to security threats, be it from hacking or viruses. Although Windows 11 is said to be more secure than previous versions of the operating system, it's still a good idea to use a VPN. It's important to note that many free VPNs aren't really worth your time, for starters. Most are far too slow for streaming and torrenting, while others lack fundamental security features that keep you safe. This is where the best free VPNs for Windows come in. A quality VPN should encrypt your internet traffic, securing it from prying eyes. In changing your IP address, it allows you to browse the web anonymously. Even your ISP won't be able to see what you're doing online. An added benefit is that by spoofing your location, you can use a VPN to access websites and services that are otherwise region locked or censored in your location. So I chose these three VPNs based on them being genuinely free without a free trial. They have user-friendly apps for Windows, respectable speed for browsing and streaming, they secure data with high-end encryption, and they do have a good, or at least solid enough, no-logs policy to protect your privacy. So Proton VPN is unique among free VPNs uh, in that there is no bandwidth cap to speak of. As such, you can browse and stream as much as you like without restriction. Though when it comes to streaming, I'll talk about that in just a minute once I'm done talking about these three VPNs. You're not really going to be able to unblock streaming services using uh, free VPNs. That's not exactly going to work as much as you'd hope it would. But still, Proton VPN's free plan provides nearly two dozen servers in three countries. That'll be Japan, US, and the Netherlands. I have the uh, paid version here, so I do have access to everything. And that's more options than most free VPNs for Windows 11. This is one of the fastest free VPNs for Windows, averaging 66 megabits per second in speed tests. As such, you can even use it for uh, streaming HD content. But again, you're not exactly going to be able to unblock streaming services uh, using the free servers. You're going to need premium servers for that. Regardless of whether you choose a free or paid plan, You'll have access to various Proton security features, uh, such as 256 AES bit encryption. Um, you will still get the WireGuard protocol right here, which is a great protocol, very quick. You still get custom DNS. Um, you will get split tunneling, and all of that is still available in the free version. Uh, it, except for the secure core and the ad blocker. And you will still have access to the kill switch, which is very generous of uh, Proton to really just include nearly the entire service for free. The free plan of Proton VPN is available for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and Linux. And if you'd like, you could use it uh, with Android or your router. Uh, though you'll need to upgrade to a paid subscription since it only allows for only one device uh, per account. So yeah, great stuff overall with uh, Proton VPN. You know, you, you don't have any bandwidth cap. Uh, the free plan includes nearly two dozen servers. It's one of the faster free VPNs that I've tested. It includes essential security features such as encryption, split tunneling, and the kill switch but it only allows for one connection per account. So if you're looking for a VPN with unlimited connections, that'll be Atlas VPN. You'll also get access to uh, three countries only, though this VPN is just one of the lightest VPNs on uh, the market. The, the free version obviously will uh, not get all the servers. They have about 31 countries in total and 40 locations, uh, but 
The app is super easy to use, the data breach monitor and the tracker blocker. These will only uh, come with the paid version since I have the paid version here. But if you go to the settings, we have very minimal features here, such as uh, the kill switch and a selection of protocols. I, I just recommend going with uh, WireGuard since it's the best. But overall, this is a great VPN. It's super cheap and uh, you can go with the free version, but then again, you're not exactly going to be able to bypass any censorship firewalls, not necessarily, not, not, not as effectively as a paid VPN, since with paid VPNs, you'll be getting premium servers, which are really optimized uh, for bypassing censorship. Now, Windscribe is uh, the final one here, which offers a free plan with which if you confirm your email address with them, you'll have access to servers in 10 countries, including the US, Canada, and the UK. Better still, you'll get as much as 10 gigabytes of data each month. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, Atlas VPN has unlimited data and you'll be able to secure an unlimited number of devices with just, well, the free plan, simply. So yeah, very generous of Atlas uh, to uh, let users secure a virtually an unlimited number of devices and uh, no bandwidth limits with both Atlas and ProtonVPN. Though with Windscribe, these 10 gigabytes can be used with uh, many as many devices as you would like simultaneously. Uh, if you don't want to sign up for uh, an account, data is limited to just two gigabytes a month. Now, uh, with Windscribe, you know, I have tested it here and there. You are actually able to unblock streaming services with the free version. But since you're limited to 10 gigabytes a day, you're probably going to burn through these in a single day if you're, you know, trying to marathon some kind of Netflix series. Or it might take you a couple of days to burn through. But anyways, 10 gigabytes is really not much when it comes to uh, streaming. So yeah, you might have to upgrade anyways. But if you're going to upgrade to a paid VPN, uh, I'll have a couple of recommendations at the end of the video. So you can use Windscribe's free service to secure your internet traffic while using Windows 11, as well as previous versions of Windows. Just like Proton and Atlas, it uses 256-bit AES encryption and doesn't keep any identifying logs of its users. If you opt for a pay plan, you'll have access to further security features, including ad blocking and a firewall. The free version of Windscribe can be used across various operating systems, and it's really just compatible with most um, devices. And if you go to the uh, settings here, you'll notice we have quite a few settings. The UI is very simple. You do get um, split tunneling, some proxy settings, firewall mode, and a bunch of other uh, features here and there. Secure hotspot, proxy gateway. So you do have quite a few more options with Windscribe, which makes it a pretty uh, cool VPN for people that want to uh, perhaps mess with the settings a little bit more, just go into the advanced stuff. Uh, you do have that option with Windscribe. And again, the free version uh, includes servers multiple in multiple countries, including the US and UK. It provides 10 gigabytes of data per month. You can use it on as many devices as you would like simultaneously. It doesn't keep identifying logs of its users, but if you don't confirm an email address, you'll only get two gigabytes a month. Now, if you're looking for a VPN, again, as I stated earlier, you're not gonna be able to unblock any streaming services, okay? And sometimes you've got uh, really powerful geo-restrictions, not just for streaming services, but for regular other uh, websites with powerful anti-VPN software or geo-restrictions that a regular um, a free VPN server may not be able to bypass, but I think most of you guys are looking to bypass geo restrictions uh, on streaming services. So you want to unblock Netflix and whatnot, you know, HBO Max, Hulu, whatever streaming service you're trying to uh, unblock. Free VPNs, for the most part, as you can tell, may not exactly be the best option. Now, you may be able to unblock HBO Max uh, by chance or something like that, but a website as stringent with their geo restrictions as Netflix, it's not going to work out. And even if it does work out with Windscribe, 
Uh, you do have limited bandwidth, so yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. Probably run out of bandwidth after a couple of days of streaming. So if you are looking for some of the best VPNs, the best overall VPNs in the industry that still cater to uh, really just many, many people, uh, including budgets, you know, you've got something as expensive as Express, which will be the best option overall, um, or something kind of in between, such as NordVPN, or a very budget-friendly VPN that works exceptionally well with streaming services while keeping the price as low as it can be. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. If you'd like to learn more about these VPNs, I highly recommend checking out these VPNs. Um, let's say you try the some of the free VPNs here and you decide uh, maybe you want to get the paid version. If you're going for a paid version, I would definitely recommend these three uh, over the other paid versions uh, of, of Proton, Atlas, and Windscribe. So yeah, keep that in mind. Besides that, keep in mind that Express, Nord, and Surfshark all have 30-day money-back guarantees, including the one-month plan. They all have live chat support. Other services don't have live chat support, and they don't have 30-day money-back guarantees, except for Atlas VPN. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.